Hello everyone, my name is Shy, and today I am reacting to a new boy group called BXB or BXB. Um, today I am reacting to their debut song, uh, Do Yak, Fly Away. Um, I've been meaning to, I've been meaning to, to um, been meaning to react to these boys because some of the members were part of um, the old group, T, R, C, and G. Obviously, stuff happened with that group. And now that a lot of them are in better, hopefully better, um, situations and whatnot. So I'm going to go um, straight into this and then I will talk about them in a little bit. So without further ado, this is BXB with Doyak Fly Away. Here, here we go. was I saw a comment before I started this is that's like it's a bit nostalgic of like old like 2012 it's like they put yeah BP 2013 vibes um so I'm actually one very happy that you know they didn't leave the industry um these boys didn't really didn't leave the industry and that they continued um they are quite young so I'm a bit worried for them um uh, that being said this definitely this definitely is a bit of a nostalgia for me um, because of the fact that it really does sound like very like back in the day K-pop for me at least. Um, I've been around the K-pop scene for so long guys. Really like I'm dead serious. Like my first group is a group that I'm sure big big um big uh K-pop fans nowadays don't know. Like they're called Double S Five One. That's how long I've been in the K-pop industry, uh, like, not in the K-pop industry, obviously, but, like, knowing about the K-pop industry, and, um, so, like, this is definitely reminiscent of, like, the early 2013 days, like, for, like, most world groups in, like, 2013, they released a lot of this, like, similar sound, very, like, dramatic, and, like, even the MV, too, it's just, like, there's a, it's the typical, 
Like, there's one female friend, there's the group, the boy group members, um, they all like her, some, one of them, they all end up fighting at some point because of the girl, probably, and then, like, one of them ends up dating the girl, but they're all still good friends somehow. Um, but I love it. Really, really love it. Um, so, BXB, the members, um, they're five, this is a five group. So, bo boy by brush. Ah, boy, it means BXB is boy by brush. Interesting. Holds the meaning of drawing the youth as they express various chapters of youth with various genres. Well, that's a given considering that they are young. So, our first member is Ji Hun. He's the leader and vocalist, born in 2000. Um, he is one of the members of um, TRCNG. Uh, hmm. And then we have Hyun Woo. Rapper and dancer born in 2001. He is also a former TRCNG member. Um, and then Si Wu is a vocalist and rapper born in 2001. Again, and I think this is all, <laughs> I might be wrong, but I believe, yeah, they are all former members of TRCNG. Um, We have Han Min, of course, to your CMG, the vocalist in 2001. <laughs> and then Jun, the youngest in 2003. He is the only one that is not from TRCNG, so he definitely has a lot of potential. 2003, that makes him 20, 21 now. Wait, they're all 2000, right? No. Kang, Kang, Han Min is 2001. And then the two, 2001, oh, so only the leader is 2000. I remember when they first debuted, um, too, as in the group here, CNG. Um, hopefully it's okay for me to mention this because, um, because of course I kind of have to since it was part of their history. But, of course they are BXB members, so I do look forward to them as BXB members, and I obviously will continue to follow them. I'm going to be um, rapping to a lot of their... Um, I'll, uh, I'll be reacting to a lot of their stuff. Um, I'm looking for the comment that originally reminded me of it. Where? Yes, BXBs. Yeah, so four members are from TRC and G. Because I, I reacted to TRC and G a while ago, like a long time ago. Um, obviously, we've been trying to keep up with the members so far. Um, and I'm happy that some of them have re-debuted. Hopefully they are in better condition and better and that they continue to strive for their dream because like I said, they are young and I really like them too when they were in their former group. Now, enough of that talk of the past, let's talk about now. BXB, excuse me, like I said with BXB, I will be reacting to everything that they have released so far. Um, I know that the most recent one they've released is I believe a uh, remake of the song Go, uh, Komonsek Goyangi, uh, The Black Cat Nero which is a very famous song, which was originally by Turbo, um, which is also part of the past. If you don't know who Turbo is by now and you're a new K-pop fan, we have time to Google because a lot of, a lot of, it seems like a lot of groups are remaking a lot of like older songs, which is good because at least they are kind of heard in a new, um, in a new sense. But I also hope that new K-pop fans would also appreciate and find the original ones. But I am looking forward to seeing I'm talking a lot, uh, BXB, uh, BXB, um, what songs they've released, um, and also follow them on their journey officially. Uh, I'm sorry it took me a while to get to reacting to them. I have been following them, I have been watching, like, obviously their activities and stuff, making sure that they all, um, um, but I haven't really seen the music videos because obviously as a reactor I would want to watch them. Uh, obviously freshly fresh and not like give fake reactions and stuff like that That being said, I love this Do ya fly away um, Very nostalgic definitely reminds me of old k-pop um, So I'm wondering how the rest of their sound will go and how like how it will change as they get older and how, how much they they um, They experiment I guess they can say because I don't know their other songs too I know they have a song called Ola, which is interesting, so I definitely can't wait to see what that kind of sound is and whatnot, and see what kind of style that they are going for and whatnot. So BXB, Doyak, Fly Away, definitely nostalgic, definitely reminds me of like, like in the comment said, BAP and like um, 
old like 2013 like like very like n like old school pop I would want to say because nowadays especially k-pop a lot of it especially with boy groups are more on power like power moves power songs and like very like kind of upbeat kind of song so it's it's hard to hear nowadays songs like this so i definitely love that and i really just cannot wait to see more so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did like subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye